Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Yes, there is no flashy intro here. Me putting up saying, "Look at me, Mr. Four Gap Scaler." Blah 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 blah. There's none of that stuff, and there's none of that professional cameras panning and zooming and doing all that stuff. Could I do that? Yes, I could. Would it cost a lot of money? You bet your ass it would. Cost a lot of money to do that, and that's what I want to talk about. The difference between YouTubers who are already rich and sponsored by whoever their fathers that are helping their nephews or who they're very successful at the YouTube. I'm not going to mention any names on, on these uh, content creators, but you guys get the idea who is who. I'm just trying to clarify certain things here as far as to why these YouTubers are big and how did they become big. Well, first of all, they didn't become big out of the blue okay they've been doing a business for a long time uh, a lot of their friends or, or their uh, uncles or whoever out there they've been doing this for a long time and then they would give a helping hand and they would help some other of their nephews or cousins and they would like give them the sponsors to sponsor them they would give them uh, all the necessary equipment that would help them in bottom line, they would give them a helping hand to start. Uh, and again, if you type in right here, let me show you one example. If you type in Sony PlayStation 4 Pro Anniversary Edition, you're going to see, again, it says right here, you guys can read it. I don't need to mention anybody's names, but it, you can obviously see it. Okay, how did this guy get this? Okay, uh, I'm going to click on him really quick, but I'm going to stop this video because I don't want to get flagged. So there. I'm gonna stop it and then you click right here this guy got himself a anniversary PlayStation 4 Pro uh, now how did these guys get all of this stuff now first of all did they uh, and this one here too we all know who she is you know how did these guys get all of this stuff how did this happen I'll tell you how this happens I'll, I'll explain to you guys in a minute how all of this stuff happens let's go to my home page here some of these youtubers they are already rich meaning they already have establishment therefore they're able to buy all this equipment expensive cameras paint their apartments or houses or whatever they are put the nice LEDs uh, arrange everything get the furniture all of this stuff but at the same time they're also being sponsored by either Sony or Microsoft or who have you uh, you don't simply nobody will send you a anniversary console edition unless you're being sponsored no one's going to send you something early in advance unless you're being sponsored. So what I want to tell you guys is there's a lot of these guys that are already rich and they already are set and they're already being sponsored. When you're being sponsored, then YouTube will put your videos everywhere. As soon as you click on YouTube, uh, it will, will pop up here on recommendation. How do you think this video here pops up on recommendation? How do you think this one pops up on rec recommendation? How do you think this one pops up on recommendation? How do you think this one and this one and this one? All of these videos, they pop up on recommendation. Let's go some more. They do because they are being sponsored. They're sponsored videos. And, of course, Google and, and YouTube will always have the sponsored videos show up on your recommendation because they're gaining more views more audience okay now are there youtubers out there that worked hard and made it happen yes they are of course there are youtubers out there that worked hard and made it happen you know but there's a lot of youtubers out there that didn't work hard and didn't make it happen by working hard and made it happen by simply having a helping hand then having all this fancy shit, you know, fancy cameras, 
And another thing you can notice, a lot of these fancy YouTubers, they never, ever, ever, they never reply to your comments. Do you know why they never reply to your comments? <laughs> okay, let's let's take one example here. Uh, let's say I go to, and I look, let's keep in mind, I have nothing against Angry Joe. Okay. But let's say, let's say, here's a good example. Let's say you go to Angry Joe. Let's say you go to his, uh, his channel. Guess what happens here? Let's say you go to his channel. Go to his channel and check this out. Uh, let's say we click on, uh, let's go Yakuza review, right? Um, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to stop right there. Uh, do you see Angry Joe replying anywhere here? Nope. Nope. No, let's go a little bit further down. Do you see him replying? No. Do you know why that is? And remember, I'm not here to bash on anybody. I'm not here. This video is not about me going after anybody. Okay, this video is just about me explaining to you how YouTube works. Giving you some truth and reality. It's like a disclosure, if you will, on YouTube and how it really works. Uh, what's going on? You see, you don't see him. You don't see him anywhere. He's nowhere to be found. Now, some of you might say, well, that's because you got um, a million subscribers. <laughs> Fine. If I had million subscribers, I don't have to answer everybody. What I would do is I would pin the comment. You can pin the comment. You know that. You can pin it. Keep it on the top and tell everybody, speak for everyone. Tell everyone, okay, guys, you know, I know you disagree with me, da 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 da, -da but this is how I feel, blah, 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 blah. You leave one comment pinned. Okay, but nowhere, nowhere you're going to find that. Oh, let's go to another guy. Hold on. <laughs> Here's another guy, RTUSA. Are you going to find, uh, are you going to find him? Oh, Review Tech USA. Hold on, I got to do it like this, basically. It has to be like this. Here's another guy that's not going to ever reply to your comments. All right. He's talking about Ashley. You know, let, let's let's click on this one. I was a complete idiot. Just just really quick. All right. I don't want to show too much of his face. All right. Do we see Review Tech USA comment being pinned anywhere? Is it? You know you can pin. Here, let me show you. Well, I cannot do that because it's channel, obviously. But you can pin. You can pin your comment. You've seen me, guys, pin some of your comments. And you've seen me pin pinned some of my comments. And stays on the top. Do you see him replying here? No, you're not going to see him replying. You know why he's not replying? Because he's only doing it for the money. To gain the views he's pumping out videos every day just pumping them out and not talking not getting involved with the audience that tells you that this person just wants to make that extra dough you know he may be might reply on Twitter once in a while but you'll never see him reply here I'll go in further down I mean could you do you see uh, RT USA anyway review tech USA nope Okay, so let's do the same thing with this one. Let's go to the uh, some other big YouTubers. Uh, who else? Oh, yeah, look, he has a <laughs> support. Should I support him? Look, <laughs> support this channel. Oh, boy. Okay. Anyway. Uh, and believe it or not, I had nothing against PewDiePie. Uh even though he he's he was a very successful YouTuber, but he became but he worked hard for it, guys. He worked hard for it. You know, he worked hard for it to to get to where he was. Granted, I don't know what happened with him in Disney. That's that's his business, whatever. But I had nothing against uh, PewDiePie because I know he worked hard for it, and I know that he got there working hard to make it happen. You know, so I have nothing against PewDiePie. I'm talking about these other YouTubers. Um, see who else we got. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll even go further down. 
since we are here hold on let's uh let's move over here let's go to uh another guy there's there's another person that I can think of um Let me see. Now these guys that I subscribed, believe me, they all they all reply. They're cool. Paul's Hardware, he reply. Jay Z Two Cents, he replies. You know, there's some great YouTubers out there that work hard. You know, but then you have these other, a lot of these other YouTubers that don't. Um, let me see. Let me go through my history here. Hold on. There's another guy I wanted to show really quick. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, here's not this guy right here. Again, I don't want to name names, but okay. There's this guy right here. Your average consumer, right? Uh, let's see. Your average consumer. Let's see. Are there any uh, replies from him? Let's see. He's got almost half a million, close to half a million views. Uh, and he's got close to one million subscribers. All right. Do you see him replying? Okay, so he did. He did. Okay, so he's cool. He did reply. But he only had like one one reply. And that's cool. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This guy is okay. He did reply. But that's it. You might see him do maybe one one reply and then after that you'll never ever 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 see him reply here ever until here like 4 weeks ago. He there was not. So this guy is okay. All right. So this guy is cool. All right, this guy is okay. So my bad. This guy is, it's okay. He does reply. So see, I like that. So he's in my cool books, you know. He replies. That's cool. So my whole point here I'm trying to tell you guys is that, uh, there, there's a bunch of YouTubers out there, not all of them, but there's a, it's a good number, a good huge number of YouTubers that actually started, started with some money. They got sponsored and, and they were able to start the YouTube. What makes me so relevant is the fact that, you know, I never, obviously I'm not rich. I didn't start by anybody sponsoring me. I didn't start by anybody, you know, giving me a helping hand, you know renting me a studio and putting all the equipment in there and all that stuff all of that costs money obviously uh, so the reason what makes me so relevant here let me show you what makes me so relevant let me let's go to my channel let's see the difference okay you even the other guy you saw he only had maybe within four weeks which is a month he replies once in a month only two replies they were from that guy in a month which is kind of like eh and they're like a very short reply even him come on man takes you the entire month to reply <laughs> come on uh, here's the difference look at here look at me for example look how much I reply immediately I'll re look look at the replies I give to people right here let's click to another of my videos Halo Wars 2 look at the replies I give people look at the interactions that I give to people here look <laughs> I'll be obviously I, I pinned this guy for a reason as you can read to prove a point but look replied 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 all replied let's even go to some of my old videos like saving private Ryan here all replied replied you'll see how many replies I give to people look reply 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 look how many times I reply let's go to this guy like a puppy G funk let's see how many times he replied on this video if it was one time within a month or was it uh, I look I have nothing against this guy let's just keep that in check I have nothing against him all you know God bless you man all best to you you know but I'm just saying don't it don't expect this guy to reply I'm just I'm just trying to show you a little truth and reality of YouTube so don't get misled by some of these big celebrity YouTubers. Remember, they're doing it just for that cheese, for that money cheese, all right? They could really care less about you guys. They're only there for themselves. Keep that in check. 
All right, so let's see how many re replies this guy gave. Can we find him? Nope, he's nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. And now let's go back to my video and look how many replies I gave. Immediately, immediately, 19 hours ago, 30 minutes ago, here we go, here we go look. Look at the replies I gave. Let's go to another one of my videos. Uh, Yeah. How about Tekken 6? Here, let's go click on Tekken 6. Look. Look how many. Hold on. It should be right here. There. See? There's a reply right there. I was able to reply. There. Same thing and until dawn. <laughs> And I replied immediately. Look, same thing here on Until Dawn. Replied here. Thank you for support. Appreciate it. There you go. You see, I, re I replied immediately. Hey, there's some more right here. Craig Harris. Here you go. I replied to him as well. So, my whole point here is, guys... Uh, I'm not doing this video trying to bash anybody else. As you know, I haven't used anybody's name. I haven't mentioned anyone in particular to attack. Okay, this video is not me exposing anybody. I just use them as a reference, but I'm not exposing anyone. I'm just simply stating the difference. This is really, this video is really about the difference between me and these big other YouTubers and what makes me relevant. Uh, what makes me relevant is interactions. I even have clubs dedicated on both my Xbox and PlayStation and pretty soon PC where I interact with you guys. And I think that's what makes me relevant. I know this video will trigger some people because I may be picking on their... I'm not picking on anybody. That's the thing. You know, I'm not going after anybody here. I'm just simply showing the difference between me and these so-called big YouTubers. And you got to ask yourself, well, how did they become big? How are they getting all this equipment? Well, all of this stuff costs money. <laughs> Goes into 70000 to 80000 That's how much it costs to get all of that stuff. The stuff that they're using, okay? From the PCs, the equipment, all of that. Not to mention the games. And you ask yourself, how are they getting all these uh, early games? How are they getting all this equipment to test? How are they getting all these TVs to test? How are they getting all these consoles, special edition consoles to test? How do they get the PlayStation VR first than anybody else? How do they get the Oculus Rift? How do they get the uh, HTC Vive in this giant alien wear Area 51? high-end PC rig how do they get all this stuff because they get sponsored now there's youtubers out there they're good and they deserve to get sponsored you know like Jay-Z two cents he's great he deserves to get sponsored and, and I love him he's sponsored by EVGA and there's another one Paul's hardware you know he used to work for um, God there was a company he used to work for I forgot the name of it uh, I can't remember, but he, he was part of a company, and then he quit. Now he's doing it by himself, but he's also being sponsored by EVG and some other companies. But these guys, they, they work hard, man. They work hard to get to where they are. They go to these press conferences and whatnot, events, C CES events, all right? I'm talking about the ones that actually are just doing it for the money, you know. I'm doing it for the money, too. But I'm honest about it, and I interact with you, and uh, I'm doing everything on my own, which means I don't have I don't have I don't have anybody to help me, to hold the camera for me, to do all these videos. To I don't have anyone to help me. It's like I'm doing everything by myself. There's a big difference, guys. And when you're doing everything by yourself, it takes a goddamn long time, man. You know, I'm sure you guys have lives. You know, you got to do this, got to do that, and and I also work the day job as well. You know, I work two jobs. I do this and my day job. All right. Now, on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm able to do more videos because it's a weekend and I'm off. Believe me, I would like to do something else on the weekends than do this. But I do this for you guys to bring you the content. And the reason I'm making this video is just to show you 
the difference between me and other YouTubers out there. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to show you. Now, when I say other YouTubers, I'm not talking about everybody. Granted, there's, there's, there's a lot of YouTubers out there. Well, it's a good amount of them that they worked hard and they earned to where they are. But then there's this other group of these <laughs> sponsored YouTubers. They got a helping hand with everything, with all the equipment and you know, all the professional shit. And now they are who they are. Uh, that That is something you guys need to be able to to tell a difference guys and if they don't reply to you then you know exactly they're just after the money and they don't that's it that's it they just pump the video out and that's it and they tell you click here click there follow me here follow me there and then you'll never ever hear from them ever again they will never reply to you I'll, I'll actually I'll put a hundred dollars on the goddamn table and I'll bet they'll never reply to you okay because they're just doing it for the money they're not doing it because they care about you. Me is different. I do care about you guys. And I want to, you know, interact with you. And I think that's interact with you. And I think that's what makes me relevant. Because I'm talking directly to you. I don't need a press secretary to come in and talk for me. I don't need anybody to talk for me. I don't need a handler to talk for me. I do everything by myself. And that's what makes me relevant. I'm talking straight to you. Interacting straight to you. Directly. And I think that's how it should be. If you truly care about your subscribers, if I didn't care about you guys, if I just wanted to pump out videos and make money and do all these drama videos and whatnot and vlogs, I would never reply to you. <laughs> I would just monetize the videos and make money. But I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to join that band. I don't want to join that group. You know. Now, like I said, this video will trigger some people because I have maybe, you know. Uh, triggered them by showing some of their heroes quote unquote heroes in YouTube even though I didn't expose them I didn't acknowledge them in any kind of a bad way I was just showing you uh, the difference between me and them this is just the difference between me and them and why am I relevant and why people like my channel and I think that's the reason why people like me it's not because I have a super high-end glossy content with all the fancy cameras and shit no it's because i am informative and i keep it real and i interact with you guys and i think that's the way it should be all right so keep that in mind you know that's what this is about it's not about me exposing anybody it's just me letting you know the real truth of youtube yeah the real truth of youtube that's what i'm going to call this video the real truth of youtube okay have a good one guys thank you